Now let's talk to legal practitioner and chief executive officer who is also the former who was also the former head of corporate communications Abuja Electricity Body Fadipe. Thank you so much for joining us on TVC News this hour. Help us better deconstruct or understand the plan to unbundle the power sector. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I, I think we must give uh, we must give credit to the upper uh, chamber of the legislature uh, for taking this bold move to consolidate, as the chairman said, the entire legislative framework in the power sector. I think the last time we had uh, a document of this nature was in 2005, and between 2005. And now it's quite a considerable length of time that you can say that there have been developments that have taken place that do also warrant a comprehensive overview of the legislative framework in order to take cognizance of events that have happened between that 2005 when the Power Sector Reform Act was passed into law and uh, the current situation. Of course, uh, you will agree with me that uh, several developments that have taken place in the power sector have also necessitated what the National Assembly, I mean, what the Senate has done, and uh, by extension, an expectation that the, the House of Rep will concur to the uh, effort of the Senate. So I, I think uh, on the general note, what they have done is fantastic and uh, they must receive support from anyone that looks at uh, the progress that we desire in the power sector. For instance, just about yesterday, we were still talking about the collapse of the national grid. And for me, I mean, nine years down the road of privatization, if we are still saying that kind of thing, then it's very, very important that we interrogate the power sector itself. But having said that, the question to ask is, what has happened to the previous law? Can we legislate efficiency? Uh, to what extent will the new law, if there is a concurrence from the House of Rep, to what extent will it bring about the kind of efficiency uh, that we desire? Your, your, report, your reporter in the background talked about disappointment in the power sector. I dare say that she was actually being very, very kind in terms of use of words. There are so many people that also think that the privatization has failed, but mm. let, let us see how much this new law will bring it back to life. Right. Uh, well, so some people are actually very pessimistic about these you know, development because they said that, you know, the 40 way that the, the way the discourse were actually created was faulty. So what would you say as regards how the federal government can ensure that the, the uh, transparent, the, the, there is a transparent process in the selection of companies to uh, take over power generation and distribution across the country. Well, uh, I, I'm I'm not I'm not aware that there is any effort to take over or a takeover effort by the federal government. What I know has happened in the last few weeks, particularly in relation to about five about five of the discos, precisely Kano, Kaduna, Benin, Ibadan, and Portacourt. Yeah is that the, the, the provider of the acquisition equity, Fidelity Bank, uh, had to step in so that they can pro protect their own investment in those banks. So, and from what BPE told us, it was a commercial transaction. Of course, we also have our own concern about the fact that DP had been inert, and why is it now that they are going to take over? I am not aware that federal government is taking any step to take them over. Rather, I know that commercial banks that provided equity are also stepping in to take to make sure that their equity is protected. Now, if that is what you understand to be a takeover, I am afraid uh, it may not produce the desired result of efficiency. And the reason is very clear. Banks are not oh. training by their own by their own nature of function in the economy. They are not wired to, to run the power sector. They, you, you may think that it's is it not managerial. It's beyond it, for the power sector. It's clearly beyond managerial. It's just like taking an engineer who has not been a financial manager to go and run right. a bank. It will crash. 
the same way you want to bring somebody from the financial sector to come and run the power sector, it will not work. It will not, it will definitely, so if it is efficiency we are looking for, the takeover by the banks will not bring that efficiency. What they have come to do is to right. recover their equity, their, their investment, uh, investment, I mean, uh, their acquisition capital. That's what they have come to do. We'll, we'll definitely see how um, the whole thing will, will pan out at the end of the day. Uh, former head of corporate communications, Abuja Electricity, and also the CEO Sage Consulting for Day Fadipe. Thank you so much for your time.